Good afternoon. How is everybody? I don't know what it is. Today it looks like I'm a discombobulated head. Let me see. Does it help if I move it back a bit? Anyway, good afternoon. It won't be on this stand for too much longer um, because I'm going to flip it over and uh, do a little stamping. My name is Genevieve Co. Thank you for joining me every week on Tuesday around 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I love to hop on, share what's going on in my Stampin' Up! journey, and uh, share some stamping with you. So, how is everybody doing? Um, I live here up in around Markham, Ontario, Canada, and but I love to serve anyone in Canada, and I know some of you watch from the U.S., so it's wonderful to connect with you, and uh, I love to share what I'm stamping with you. So I've been a demonstrator. Uh, this fall will be um, 14 years, so I just can't believe it's been that long. It sort of seems like yesterday. Um, so, except that I love stamping more now than I did 14 years ago. It's like part of my life now. So, eat, drink, stamp, like it's all part of the part of the routine of my life. This today I was actually doing some stamping, preparing a project for the next global creative tutorial bundle. And so I was just like happily stamping away here. I did have to go this morning to my um uh, in-laws home the physio uh, we got physio to go in and see my mother-in-law so um, my father-in-law's hearing is not so great so I thought it would be better if I was there so I had kind of run up there come back and just did some stamping so I'm feeling pretty relaxed and excited to connect with you guys hi Debbie so for anybody who's new or you haven't joined me before welcome welcome uh, you don't have to have any experience of stamping you can just enjoy the show so to speak uh, but for those of you who come all the time you know that I love to read your comments so even if you haven't seen me before please go ahead and comment and let me know you're there it just makes it more fun for me when I'm sharing with you to know that you're out there somewhere out there in the world so um, I do like to give do a little drawing and last week's winner was Kareen so Kareen I don't think I have your address to mail your little uh, happy mail to so if you don't mind messaging me and I can get uh, just a little happy mail off to you. Hi Gwyneth, hi Pat. Uh, so yes, keep commenting uh, so that I can enter you in the drawing so that we can connect, so we can say hello. And of course, it's always a wonderful uh, compliment and uh, honor for me if you choose to share the video as well so that your friends and family and any groups that you're part of can also enjoy my stamping um, experience. So, we are now, um, we're into June the 15th. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but time seems to be going fast. For a while, time was going really slow. But uh, now we're already the middle of June. Summer is coming. Uh, make sure to take time now to go check out my uh, link tree, my upcoming classes, because the deadline to register is July the 1st for any of my July classes. Everything's closed for my June classes. They are done out, out the door, all the packets starting to go out the door. So um, now's the time to look at July classes. So there's a few that I want to highlight um, because it might be a little confusing. So actually, maybe it's a good time to kind of go over some of that stuff in case we have some new people as well. I know it's like winter goes I'm just reading Kathy's comment winter goes so slow and drags on at least for me and I wait and I wait and I wait for summer and I can't wait and then when summer comes it's like gone like that and we're back to winter where I'm waiting 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 for summer to come so okay so class is coming up in July so the fourth Monday of the month is always technique class so technique class is unique in that the projects and the cards that I do usually have something a little funky, a little different um, for me to show you. So that's a class where you can learn new things. The other unique thing about my technique class, which is the fourth Monday of the month, 
is that it is free with an order. So if you choose to, now I haven't always said this because in the past when we did our classes in person, it was obvious you'd place your order at the class to get that class free. So, but now that I'm kind of doing everything virtual and online, I've had a few questions lately um, about, you know, people who are putting in orders and can they get the technique class free and how does that work? So basically, if you would like to get the technique class free, I have a special host code for the technique class and I open that host code a week before the class. So whatever a week before the fourth Monday is, that's when I open up that host code. So if you um, want to place an order online and your order is at least $30, if you use that host code, then I'll know, oh, okay, technique class free for this person. But a lot of times people just message me their order. If you're local, you can just message me your order um, and you just give it to me um, within a week of that class, uh, like a week before or the night of that class. And then um, when you give me your order, you don't have to pay the $25 for that class. So that's an awesome deal. Um, but I you can't like i i know every month i have an online ordering special so i have uh, the free um, adhesive sheets this month with your minimum 60 dollar order so that's using my june online ordering special host code so you can't really combine you know if you're placing the 60 dollar order online and you're using the free adhesive sheet uh, june special host code um, you cannot also apply that to technique class because that is sort of a separate um, bonus. You could place two orders or um, if you speak to me and you kind of place one larger order that covers both of those options, then that is fine as well. Okay, so that is Technique Class, fourth Monday of every month. Fourth Saturday of each month is Sweet and Simple Class. Oh, let me show you samples of my tech. I'll show you a little sneak peek. If you guys are in my club or regularly come to Technique Class and you don't want to see what the Technique card is, then go go somewhere else and cover your ears. I'm just gonna, or cover your eyes. Let me see whether I have the uh, technique card. Oh, I don't know where I put them. Well, forget that idea. I can't show you today. I'll have to show you later, but they're super cool cards. I don't know where I put them. I had the instructions, but I don't know where I put the cards. Oh boy, I'm losing it. Sorry about that. Maybe maybe it'll magically appear or I'll remember where I put it. I don't think I gave it to anybody to cut yet. I don't know. Okay, sorry, can't show you. Maybe I'll show you next week, but it's, uh, I'll give you the theme. How about that for technique class? It is like, um, let's move it, take two. So we did a move it class a few months ago where the cards, when you open them, move in some way, shape and form. So this is another one of those classes because there's more moving kind of cards. Uh, one's called the flip flap card. One is like a sliding lock card. One is a, um, I can't remember what they call it. Pop and flip. I think they call it a pop and flip card. So, that's technique class. Oh no, that was, yes, that's July's technique class. Okay, so, um, okay, so Sweet and Simple is on the fourth Saturday of each month, so that'll be at 7 p.m. And we are using the Strawberry Bundle as our uh, feature stamp set for that one. Um, and that class is just $25. So that's a flat fee. I usually give a little gift of a little embellishment or a little treat or some sort of little gift on top of the four pre-cut card pieces, card class pieces. Okay, and then I know you can't believe it. The Sweet as a Peach Stamp Camp, the deadline for registering for that is coming up because the tutorials for that, the exclusive Facebook group, that's all happening in July. So I know it seems like July is a far way off, but it's not because we're already June the 15th. So that is the Sweet as a Peach Stamp Camp that I'm doing with my friend Jennifer Cotton in the US. So uh, if you're interested in that class, whether you're in Canada or US, you can take advantage. And um, I'll put my registration link on here and then you can go ahead and register because if you live in the US, my friend Jennifer Cotton will take care of you. Uh, but we're designing the projects together. It's There's no set uh, Zoom time for the Sweet as a Peach Stamp Camp. We actually instead have an exclusive Facebook group if you choose to join that stamp camp. And we'll be posting fun games and 
uh, Facebook Lives and stuff like that in there. And you will get the full written tutorial so that you can do it whenever you want. Like I was thinking in the summer, um, people might want to do their projects kind of on your own time instead of having to log on to Zoom and see me do the projects. So we'll write up the full tutorial for you and we'll get that out for you. That's Sweet as a Peach Stamp Camp. And there's two optional classes linked with Sweet as a Peach Stamp Camp, my Christmas in July and uh, the Create with Friends, Jennifer's Million Dollar class. So you can add on those two classes as part of the Stamp Camp. If you add on both of them, you get a bonus gift and who doesn't want a bonus gift? But if you don't wanna take the Sweet as a Peach Stamp Camp and you just want either Christmas in July or Create with Friends or both, then that's fine too. So you can see those options on my um, signing up website but the deadline is July the 1st. And as I predicted, because you guys have probably heard me talking about the Sweet as a Peach Stamp Camp for a while now, the reason why I started telling you guys about it early is because I just had this vibe inside of me that the Sweet as a Peach bundle was gonna go on back order because it's actually included in the Stamp Camp fee. If you already have the Sweet as a Peach bundle, don't worry, you can still sign up for the, the Stamp Camp. Just You just pick different bundle that gets shipped with your products, your um, projects. Okay, so, yep, as I predicted, the Sweet as a Peach bundle is on back order. So, I mean, I ordered as fast as I could for those of you that have already paid and registered. It was still back ordered, but it should be coming in soon. Actually, they had said it would come in on the 14th, so I didn't check today whether it did show up in the warehouse but don't wait people because um i knew that that would be a really popular suite okay so i think that is uh, that's right perfect sarah and you did sign up for the suite as a peach i got your payment for that so uh you gave me a substitute i ordered it we're all good so when you get your package it'll have everything in there Okay, so let me set up my little mount and my camera and we're gonna do some stamping. In the meantime, you guys can comment about what you did over the weekend. I can tell you guys what I did over the weekend, but you tell me what you guys did over the weekend um, because I love to think of this as a time where we connect and we kind of build our friendship and, and community. So I would love to hear, um, although it seems so long ago last weekend, uh, but I'd love to hear what you guys did. Okay, let's see whether I can get this flipped around. I'm very disturbed where I put my technique cards. We'll have to find them. Okay, so let me put this on here. Okay, I'm gonna put the um, link up here so that you know where to register for my classes and where to shop and everything. Okay, so it is a Linktree link, linktr.ee slash stampin' for fun. Okay, so that way, if you could just kind of keep this website in mind, I do try to keep it up to date with all the different links that are important, whether it's my online store, whether it is... Um, I was just reading, sorry, I get distracted. I can't, like, obviously I can't multitask. I'm reading the comments and I am um, talking at the same time. Okay, so that is good. No hugs yet. No, no hugs yet, Gail. Soon, hopefully soon. Okay, so who remembers? Oh, so what I did this past weekend was kind of exciting on... Well, I went for a bike ride. I have been enjoying bike rides. So I never used to love bike riding. When I was in university, um, bike riding was not a hobby that I enjoyed. It was like a necessity of transportation, okay? So I did a lot of bike riding when I was in university because that's the only way I had to get around to get my groceries. I would carry my laundry on my back and all of that jazz. Um, oh, I remember my son came back from Ottawa this weekend. And so, um, we ate outside, had takeout food, because I was in a bit of like quandary, right? Technically, he's now a separate household because he lives in Ottawa. And um, I know he hangs around with uh, a bunch of friends in Ottawa. So I was like, oh, no, I don't know this mixing business. So anyway, we ate outside. He came, I mean, obviously, he stayed at home, slept here and everything. But he was, um, he was uh, really craving Chinese food. In his mind, he's like, Ottawa does not have good Chinese food. And it's so weird that he likes Chinese food so much because I don't like, I don't like Chinese food that much. Um, 
it's just weird. Maybe your children just don't like what you like because that's what makes them different and unique or whatever. So anyway, he came home. We did take out. We ate in the backyard. It was great. Uh, and then we went for ice cream. I rode my bike for ice cream um, on Sunday. So that was really good. So now riding my bike is sort of like a hobby. It gets me out of my house. And it was only discovered during the pandemic that I did actually enjoy it. Although I'm, I don't have good endurance. I'm so exhausted. My face is red as a tomato, whatever. It's crazy. But that's what I did this weekend. And our church small group got together in person. <laughs> um, I think there was nine of us all together. And uh, everyone just like kind of brought a lawn chair. We sat apart. And our church small group, this group that I'm with now, we only started during the pandemic. So we've only met mostly over Zoom. So it was actually very exciting that we had nice weather enough and we sat apart and we just like talked outside. It was so nice. Okay, I digress anyway. <laughs> But I love to use this time to connect with you. So I hope you don't mind that I chat about my life and I like to hear about your life. Oh, yeah, my buddy, my roommate Leanne is on. She's like, yeah, we'd ride our bikes to White Mountain, which is an ice cream place. So you can tell I like ice cream. We've liked ice cream for a long time. Okay, so let's talk about our product of the month this month. All of June, I am focusing on the Simply Succulents bundle. And that's to remind me to tell you, part of it is to remind me to tell you that we are on the last chance list for the mini catalog. So although this stamp set and the dies are carrying over, it's only until June 30th that they are on the special bundle price. But there's other things that are not carrying over and so that's why it's last chance. Okay, so uh, oh, let's see, I should have brought all the lovely, last week we made, um, oh, I have it, I do have that. On the very first week of June, I used the bundle to create this shiny beauty. If you guys have been watching, oh, Sarah did decide to order it. Good, you got your discount too. Um, so that was what we did in the first week. Look at the fine detail on that die. And then last week I showed how to make like a little gift package using mini note cards and envelopes and kind of decorating using our little decorated gusseted bags. Okay, so who's excited to see what we're going to make today? Okay, uh, <laughs> it would have been good. I made it earlier, and then where did I put my sample? So I hope I remember what the card looks like. Um, okay, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that I was using soft succulent. Okay. Hi, Mark. Oh, glad you're happy with this stamp set. Okay. So, um, of course, I'm using Simply Succulents, so I couldn't help myself. I wanted to use the Simply Succulent cardstock, one of our new in colors. And let's go ahead and cut ourselves a card base with that. hope I remember how this card looks. Normally, I have the card that I've made, and I kind of keep it near me so that I can kind of follow it when I am preparing for you guys. So this is four and a quarter inches. Okay, so because one sheet of uh, cardstock um, is eight and a half by 11. So I just cut it in half. So I cut it in half at four and a quarter. And then I'm going to score it in half at five and a half. And that will be our card base. Okay. And let's see. Uh, I think I'm going to need a little piece. Okay, let's do all our die cutting first. I think that's what took the longest. So we'll use some of the soft succulent. The other color that I thought was nice with this set is the soft sea foam. So we'll get a little, little piece of, uh, I keep lots of these scraps in here. Hopefully, here, hopefully this is a big enough piece. We'll see. We'll give it a try. Okay, so that, and then I'm um, going to get a bit of the smoky slate. Okay, so let's see if we can do our stamping and die cutting, because there's quite a lot with this card. So I hope you will uh, enjoy watching all the die cutting, because today there's a lot of die cutting going on. 
Okay, and I think that just really shows it is nice to get the stamp set, but it's even nicer to get the coordinating dies. <laughs> it just helps because these coordinating dies, um, many of them coordinate with the images. So as you can see, there's a little pot, there's a die that cuts out the pot, but then there's like bonus dies. And so I wanted to use some of these bonus dies today. I call them bonus dies because they're not, they're not specifically... Um, related to the images in the stamp. They're like additional elements that would coordinate really nicely with the stamp set. So I thought it would be nice to use some of these extra dies so that you can see how you might use them. Okay, so this is like extra greenery stuff. So I'm gonna take those out. I'm gonna need the little plant. And then I'm also gonna be using these ones. These ones coordinate with the succulent images. Let me show you here. Okay, and what's really neat is I guess they had extra metal or extra steel, whatever they use. They gave us two of these ones so that we can run it through at the same time. You'll see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I think those are the pieces that we need for now, and then we need the stamps. Okay, so I'm gonna stamp the little pot image Okay, and let's get our block here. And I'm just gonna use, okay, we'll put you away. But we'll need the trimmer again because I haven't actually gotten all the layers of the card, but I thought this has so much, so much cutting and that I just wanna get started with that part. Okay, so let's, let's stamp our little pot. I'm going to use our uh, Tuxedo Black Memento ink and just, Tap, 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 straight down, straight up, and that is our little pot. Okay, so it, it has that kind of gray background. So most of the time we're doing stamping on white, but don't forget, you can stamp on other colors of cardstock too. And it just saves me, like if I had stamped this on white, I would have felt like I had to color in my pot so it's not so white and stark. But this way, I didn't have to do it. I just stamped on the Smoky Slate cardstock. Okay, and then, so we'll die cut that out in a minute. And then let's let's use our little um, succulent blooms. <laughs> Are these blooms? I don't know. So let's, let's do that. Put this away. And let's do two of these. Okay, there we go. So all I did was just tap on the ink pad, go straight down and straight up, and we have that lovely succulent image. And then I'm gonna use the smaller, smaller one. And uh, I already put the cling sticker on it and we just have it cling to the block. So it just sticks, it's not permanent, it's, it just clings there, which is nice. So that means you can easily tidy up after. Okay, so we'll do one of those and another one of those. Okay, great, 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 great. Okay, and so I think it's nice. I mean, they're nice like that, but of course I think it's even nicer if we can color it in. And no surprise, since I'm using the soft succulent cardstock, I grabbed right away my soft succulent blends markers and we will color that in. So I wish I could zoom in my camera so that you can see, but how I'm laying down the color and everybody has their own preference. I'm using the light and the, so the soft succulent, when you buy the blends, they come in two shades, a light shade and a dark shade. So um, they just always come like that. So I'm laying down my color with the light soft succulent first. I'm using a circular motion to just kind of lay that color down. Our blends markers are unique because they are alcohol based. And all I know is that it gives a very smooth finish. Very smooth finish. It's not, uh, you don't see, you don't tend to see like those streaky lines um, that you get sometimes when you're using water-based markers. So it makes it look a little more artistic, a little more professional, 
which makes me excited because I am not an artist by any means. I just love how the Stampin' Up! product makes it makes me feel like an artist. Okay, can you see how smooth that color went down? Okay, and now <laughs> my friend uh, my friend Meg Levin in the U.S. she gave me this term. A lot of our images have she calls them color here lines. So can you see there are like kind of extra lines there that gives a little bit of uh, definition to the image. So I'm just going to take my dark soft succulent blends marker. Now the, you can tell the caps are really tight because these are alcohol based markers. They can dry out really easily. So they have these specially designed caps and obviously <laughs> I need some arm arm work there. So where I see those, those extra lines, I'm just going to remember these are color here lines. So I'm going to use my dark soft succulent marker and color here okay to give a little bit of extra definition to my succulent okay so i mean it's not everywhere i see the line but it just gives me an idea of where i might want to add a little bit of extra definition and our dark blends marker is perfect for that can you see that See how it just gives that extra definition? It makes it look more realistic. Okay, so I'm going to do the same for the other one and lay down the color using a circular motion. When I'm using a bigger surface, I tend to use the brush end. So our blends have two ends, a brush end and sort of a blunt tip end. So I'm just kind of, oh, what a pretty color. What a pretty color. For those of you that like greens, I hope you like this soft succulent color. If you watch me a lot, you'll know that green is not my favorite color. Pink is my favorite color, but this green just seemed perfect for this project. It's not too bright. It's not like a Christmas green. It's more like a natural nature kind of green, a little bit muted. Okay. And then I'll do the color here lines on this one too. And so since it's a little less, like I'm covering less of an area, I just decided to use the blunt tip there. Okay, so I'm just gonna, these blends markers are fabulous. They're $12 um, for the pair. Okay, so you'll get a light and a dark when you purchase them. So. If you haven't visited my online store before, you can easily just remember this website. If you click on it, it'll have a link there to my online store where you can just browse and shop. Obviously, no obligation. You can just go browse along and see the different things we have. Okay. But just remember, one of the special, the online ordering special this month is if you place your order online in June and your order is at least $60, I will give you a little gift. So what I do with the gifts is I mail them out at the beginning of the following month. So what I do at the end of June, I'll just look at, look at the online order history and everybody I'll just send send out to everybody who qualified. Okay, so for those of you, I saw some of you did already place orders earlier this month on my online store. Um, just know that I, even though you were early to place it, it's just uh, efficiency. I will uh, mail it out at the beginning of the next month when I'm checking everything. Okay, so don't, don't worry. Don't think that I forgot you or anything. It just makes more sense that way that I can send it all out at once. Okay, so I'm using the, uh, to coordinate here, the soft sea foam because I'll be using some of the soft sea foam cardstock. So I'm using, I'm doing the same thing. I'm doing the light and then doing a little bit of dark. Oh, let me use the blunt tip. And there's actually lines. So you know the fat line is for the brush tip end and the skinny line is for the blunt tip end. Okay, so we'll do that and dress it up a bit. I think it just gives it a more sort of realistic look when you have that extra color definition. Okay, and since I'm not an artist, I feel awesome when my coloring looks so professional or looks, I don't know, I just think it looks a little nicer. 
Okay, so you see that? I colored that. Yay! Yay me. Okay, so I think we've got a few things to die cut here. Um, okay, so I mentioned my June online ordering special. It is for, let me see if I can get more here. Okay. <laughs> okay, don't be alarmed. Those of you who have watched me for a while know that this happens. Sometimes when I'm taking stuff off my shelf, an avalanche will happen because of, you know, because I have crafting stuff and it might be piled on top of each other. Okay. So here's, here's my special for June. You'll actually receive four, not four packages, but four of the adhesive sheets. So just a little sampling so that you can try, but it's very, um, it's not even a small sample. Like it, these are really large. Okay. So uh, I think they're like 12 inches long. So you'll get four of these as a thank you for your online order of $60 or more. I'm going to show you guys how to use these and why I like them so much. Um, especially it's for die cutting um, because when your die cuts are more intricate just like okay we're not gonna put that in right now just like when I made this card here like this die cut was so intricate it would have been so hard to put glue on the back side to make it stick so using the adhesive sheets allows you to turn that die cut into like a sticker so that it's sticky on the back so what I am going to do, I will, um, I actually want to do this, this one. See how this is kind of a small, thin sort of die cut. So yes, that will work. So let's go ahead. I actually want to cut two of them. So that's what I mean. Today's, today's show, there's a lot of, a lot of die cutting today because I wanted to show you how to use these bonus dies. Okay. So let me move this over here. Sorry, I'm trying to clean up, not, not lose all my dies here. And then I'll bring my cut and emboss machine over. So for those of you who are not familiar, can see how, what I mean by die cutting, because it's not unusual that there'll be someone new tuning in and they're not familiar with die cutting. So this is called die cutting. This is the die. It's like a steel ruled die. This bumpy part is the blade. Okay. And then I've applied the adhesive on this side. This die is not going to go on this side. It's going to go on this side. Okay. So I'm just going to make sure I've got that on here. And then I'm going to place this on top and roll it through. Okay. So it's basically like a press. And as it goes through this press, it pushes that blade into the paper and cuts it out. Okay, super helpful because I would never be able to kind of um, cut that out freehand with scissors or anything like that. I'm just not that artistic. Okay, so let's, we've got one. Let's do a second one. I don't know. Oh, I might have enough adhesive there. Let's see whether we can even if it's not fully covered, it might still be okay to stick down onto our project. So this saves me from having to kind of fussy glue things and have the glue leaking out onto the rest of my project. This just turns my die cut into a sticker and it just makes it a lot cleaner to uh, apply to my project. Okay, so I've still got the uh, protective waxy back, so it's not sticky right now. But when I'm ready to use it, I can easily peel it off. Okay, so I'm just going to put my die. Someone gave me, my uh, team member Zara gave me this frame. It's just from the dollar store, I think. And she put like a magnet sheet inside, so that way I can keep track of my dies a little easier. Okay, so, and then this is another one of the bonus dies. I'm going to cut this out using our soft sea foam piece that I had taken out earlier, but perhaps have lost. Um, but I want it to be puffier, okay? So I want it to um, stick up. And because 
These little things are so thin, it's hard to apply Stampin' Dimensionals after I cut it out. So I am gonna use our, if you guys have seen me before in a previous month, I used the foam adhesive sheets, okay? So this one I used our regular adhesive sheets. This one I'm gonna use our foam adhesive sheets. You can see it's foamy there. And I don't think I need quite that much, so just let me, I kind of try to eyeball how much I need. And you can just use your scissors and trim to the size that you need. Okay, and then we'll apply this on top. Oh, this is kind of too big, so. I'm just gonna cut this so that it doesn't stick to my, my uh, cut and emboss machine there. Get rid of this. Okay. And again, same thing with this die. We're not gonna put it on this side. We're gonna put it on this side. Okay, so we wanna cut our paper. Okay, I might, let's see. Okay, and roll it through. So even though it is a little thicker, the foam does compress fairly well so that you can just roll it as normal through the die cutting machine. Okay. And it'll give a really neat effect. It gives it a very like 3D effect. Okay, because, oh, I won't use it yet, but when I pull this off, you'll see there's like a layer of foam behind. Okay, so we'll keep that piece. And then all my lovely coloring, I'm gonna die cut that. Okay, so it's designed for it. It's designed for it. So I'm not using dimensionals, Karen. It's called foam adhesive sheets. Okay, it's, it's meant to be cut through the die cutter, I think. I mean, you don't have to use it that way, but okay. So since Stampin' Up! gave us two of these babies, I am gonna try to line it up here. Excuse my head as I try to make it um, match up. Okay, so there's the handy thing about having two is that I can roll it both at once. Unfortunately, they didn't give me two for the other one, so we'll have to. And then, oh, this is like a game. I should have marked it. I kind of have to spin it around because it is gonna match like pretty much perfectly. There we go. Okay, it's gonna match perfectly. We will run that through. And then you can see that my pretty succulents will be cut out. And it is pretty. I think it's the blends markers, if you ask me, that makes it look pretty. And the color soft succulent is so pretty. Okay. <laughs> okay, so there we go. We've got three done, okay. So we'll put these aside because we're going to use these, but I just have one more here. So unfortunately, since I didn't have two of the larger ones, I'll have to do it again. Let's see whether I can get it lined up. I mean, it's not the end of the world if you can't line it up perfectly, but I know that since I know that it was designed to line up perfectly, I feel kind of stubborn about it and I wanna make sure that it lines up. Okay, there we go. Okay, I think I've got it there and let's put our plate on. So I'm just laying it gently so that uh, I'm not wiggling and jiggling too much. We'll roll that through. So there's a bit of pre-work with this card. Just, I, I feel better just kind of cutting, stamping everything at once, and then we can just go ahead and assemble the card. Okay, so we've got that, 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 okay. And the last thing I think is our little little pot. Okay, so we'll do that. Let me put these on my little magnet so I don't <laughs> lose them. Okay, where's my little pot? Okay, so it just helps to do that. Okay. Next week, I should actually try. You know what I was thinking? And I forgot. I, Sarah, I don't know if your sister Jen is watching. But uh, last week, 
Somebody had said, I wonder if the big ones and the little ones could layer on top of each other and give an extra special 3D look. And I said I was going to try it this week, and I didn't. So I'll have to try it sometime and see how that turns out. Okay, so now we have our little pot. So I think we're good. Okay, if you're just tuning in, welcome. Make sure that you comment and say hello so that I know that you're here. Okay. Okay, so hopefully, just even with all that die cutting, even if you've never, even if you already know how to use a die cutting machine, hopefully it was interesting for you to see how I used the foam adhesive sheets, how I used the regular adhesive sheets. Okay, so I think, I think those are all the pieces that I wanted for now. So I think we can start to assemble our card. Okay, look at, they're so cute, these little little fellows. Okay, so let's finish up our card. As you recall, we had our card base cut at four and a quarter, scored at five and a half. This is our card base. And then I wanted to just start to layer it up to give it some interest. So I'm going to take a piece of the basic white card stock. And then I thought, but I need something else. And as I told you, like, I like greens. I don't know if it's my favorite color. Those of you who know me, what's my favorite color? So I couldn't help it. I started trying to see what pinks went with this color. So I was holding up all different kinds of pinks and I settled on the petal pink, which almost isn't pink to me. It's almost like a peachy, but now that we have a pale papaya, it does look more pink. So I think, yeah, I think we'll go for the petal pink. And so I just wanted just a pop of cheerful color because I felt like it's soft, it's muted, but I just wanted a pop of color somewhere. So I decided to go with the petal pink, but you guys might have some other ideas. Feel free to try this card design um, with, your own, with your own supplies and see if you can come up with a different color combination. Because I'll be honest, my daughter actually wasn't a fan of the soft succulent and petal pink together. She thought I should have used a gray, but I was like, gray? Oh, this is already the size I need. Um, I was like, gray, gray, that's kind of like depressing. <laughs> um, but I think she was thinking it would, it would just like, so I think if you're going for a more muted overall look, I think a gray, a smoky slate border would have been nice, but I just couldn't help it. Maybe because I'm feeling cheerful about summer being here and, and everything that I, I needed that pop of color. I wanted to have a pop of a cheerful color. So I went with the petal pink. Okay, so what I did is I cut it three and a half inches, um, but I kept the length at five and a half so it would run down the whole card. Okay, so I think those are the layers I need. And then I'm gonna just start to build my little, my little plants here. So I'm just kind of checking, eyeballing where I kind of want it to go. So I think that would be okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel this off. Aren't teenagers usually depressed? Yeah, maybe that's why I'm reading Leanne's comment. Maybe that's why she's going for the gray, gray layer instead of my, I think, a little pop of color with the, the petal pink. Okay, so see how I did that? Sorry, I should have mentioned. These are the adhesive sheets. Okay, you basically just peel off the backing and it's not hard because um, I don't have nails or anything, and you just peel it off, and it's now like a sticker. There, you can see the adhesive on the back. See how it's a bit shiny? Hi, Lisa. So um, you can just kind of, it makes it really easy to layer your pieces because it's going to stick wherever you place it. Okay, see how perfectly that lays down now? So there was no fussing with my liquid glue. I mean, I love my liquid glue and my fine tip glue or whatever, but this way it's so clean and it's sticky. It's down there. Okay, um, and then let's go ahead. So, but I laid this down. So it's almost like the plants, I wanted it to be like a little realistic, right? So some of the, the foliage is at the back, some is gonna be in the front. So the front is gonna be more popped up which is why I decided to use these foam adhesive sheets. 
So I can go ahead and peel it off. Okay, there we go. Let me see, I'll show you. See, can you see it's got the foam and meanwhile the cardstock is right attached on it. So I think I'm gonna do something like this. I hope this turns out. I don't have my sample in front of me, as I told you. I probably put it somewhere. So I don't know if you guys do this, but when you make a card that you like, then I kind of sometimes, <laughs> I don't know whether I should tell you this, like I walk around admiring it because I like it so much. So I probably carried it. I know I carried it upstairs to show my daughter, which is when she gave me the feedback that she wouldn't have used petal pink. <laughs> but anyway... <laughs> Okay, so something like this, right? We can put this on here, our little pot. See how it's all coming together? I'm so happy. Okay, so we can put this here, for example, maybe. I don't know how I had it. Oh, gosh, I wish I had my little example. Okay, something like that. I'm just kind of laying it out to see how I like it. Oh, Karen just leaves it on her desk and admires them. Yeah, so I do that, and then I usually walk around and show members of my family. I don't know. I don't think this looks quite as awesome as when I had it before, but we get the idea. Okay, so we'll go ahead. I'm going to apply um, some flat adhesive. <laughs> yes, we could have a whole... Is there any psychologist in the crowd here watching? Affirmation seeking, yes. Well, you know, there are worse things I could be seeking rather than words of affirmation, I suppose. <laughs> okay, keep needing my pot to kind of see how it goes. Oh, I don't know if I like that. I need this more on, off to the right, left here. Okay, so you can always just play around with it. Yeah, I, you know, I don't mind words of affirmation. If my husband were to give me words of affirmation, I wouldn't tell him no. <laughs> if my children were to say nice words to me, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be opposed to that. <laughs> okay, so we can stick this little pot down. Yes, the adhesive sheets and the foam sheets are really fun. Okay. Yes, you're right. Karen says, the best affirmations come from fellow crafters. Husbands and teenagers, they just don't get it. They just don't get it. Okay, there we go. Okay, is our little pot there. Maybe I'll put this little baby over here, right? I don't know whether we need another succulent hanging off here somewhere. Okay, I don't know, something like that, okay? So you see how you can use these extra bonus pieces to add a little bit of extra interest? I don't know. Maybe I'll leave it like that. Maybe I like these things today. I'll have to find my other one, and you guys can tell me what you like better. So let's stamp our sentiment at the bottom. Um, I like this one. So this stamp set says, you make the ordinary extraordinary. So let's... Uh, oh, since Leanne is on, is Leanne still on? Thank you. I got your birthday card, Leanne. I always feel so honored. My roommate, Leanne, she lives all the way in Scotland, so it takes a while for the mail to get here and that it got here in time. Okay, so I'm going to stamp that with some black ink. And we're going to finish this card up. Hello, I feel very happy. Look how easy it is to make something beautiful. Okay, you needed the cut and emboss machine, but if you don't have a cut and emboss machine, right after you get your stamps, ink, and paper, you play around with your stamps, ink, and paper, and then next purchase after that should be the cut and emboss machine. Okay, so see how great it is? I would never be able to write that with a pen. I mean, I don't know, maybe some of you can, but that's why I love stamping so much. Okay, and we will stick this on. Give our pop of color with our petal pink there. Okay. So my petal pink, I just cut it just uh, like 
half an inch wider so that you have it on the other side. I can see that I didn't line it up very well here. So I'm going to snip this white. Okay, now it's probably not going to be straight. I probably should have used my trimmer, but anyway. Okay, and then on to here. Ta -da! So happy. Okay, so hopefully, my friends, you have gotten another idea using the Simply Succulent stamp set. I wanted to show you how to use those extra dies today that came there. Oh, Marg likes my color combo. So I'm going to tell my daughter, Michelle, well, Marg likes it. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Oh, we need some embellishments, a little bling bling. You can't not have the bling bling. So I'm using the Genial Gems, and I'm just going to use, I guess we'll go with the green. We could go with the, I mean, they both kind of match, right? What do you guys think? Maybe I'll try the green. We need a little bling bling. And these ones have bling built into it. You can see the little glitter right there. Oh, I'm glad you like it, Carol. I like it too, which is why I can't find my original. Probably because I was walking around showing people and admiring it and whatever. Okay, maybe it's a little off center. There we go. There is our card for today. So we've done three weeks using the Simply Succulent Bundle. Uh, June is the last chance that you can get the bundle at 10% off. And so these were the projects that we've made so far. Okay, so if you're interested in purchasing anything that I showed you, or if you're brand new and you don't know where to start, it doesn't matter. Go to my link tree, click the button that says Browse and Shop, and you can browse and shop. If you're brand new, I would suggest starting with uh, the kits. So we have a whole new kit collection there, and everything is cut out for you. Everything is included, so that's number one, definitely the place to start with our kits collection. If you feel a little more creative, um, want to branch out a bit, then keep in mind, and you're newer, think of SIP. You want to take a SIP, S-I-P. So make sure that you're purchasing stamps, ink, and paper. Okay, so that is um, where to start if you're new. If you're experienced with crafting, I um, love connecting with you. I would love to have you join some of my classes. All my classes can be found just by clicking this, uh, going to this link tree and clicking the button that says upcoming classes. It'll take you right to my registration form and you can pick and choose uh, with all the different things coming up. So that is my project for today. I'm glad. See, you guys are giving nice words of affirmation to me. Thank you. I could tell as soon as I showed my daughter upstairs, it was like, oh, she doesn't like it. She said it's okay. But yeah, maybe it's the teenager thing. She said she would have done a, a basic gray here. So uh, not a basic. I don't know whether she would have done basic gray or smoky slate. I'll have to ask her and see. Okay. All right. Yay. So let me flip this around and... Um, I, it's really bothering me that I can't find my technique cards. Hang on. Let me see whether. Aha! I found them. Okay. I knew I would find them. Okay, before I flip this around, I want to give you a quick sneak peek of... Okay, so if you're coming to technique class and you don't want to know what the cards look like, then don't look. I'll give a little sneak peek. Oh, okay, I'll show you the flip-flap card. How's that? Okay, so it looks like a, a normal card on the outside and on the inside, flip flap. Okay, so it can flip flap just like that. Did you do? Did you do? Anyway, so that's technique class on the um, fourth Monday of the month. Okay, so you're going to get to make cards that move. I'm glad I found my technique cards. I knew they were somewhere. Oh, Kathy's saying there's five Tuesdays this month. That means we're going to have five projects using the Simply Succulents. Fun. Okay, let me flip this around so I can say goodbye. Okay, guys. So nice connecting with you. 
Um, I look forward to Tuesdays and we will see you next week, Tuesday. Um, or of course, if you want to reach out beforehand, if you have any troubles using my online store or anything like that, uh, just let me know. I do have a video on my blog that shows how to use my online store if you have any questions, but don't forget. Yes. Last chance on many of the mini catalog goodies. Okay. Have a great week. I hope I didn't forget anything. Talk to you later. Bye.